Klik over de vier omhoog, klein. Pas lijkt het lijkt het Is dat niet in het woord? Yes. Uh, well, it's, it's very hot. It's, it's around 35 degrees. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so uh, uh, I'm here to, to, to tell you something about the, let's call it the uh, umbrella program called IBC Euromaster, uh, where actually everything starts. So the idea of uh, an international exchange of virtual uh, informatics content of courses uh, started basically within that IPC Euromaster and I'll give you a short uh, history, let's say, and a logical insight into what happened and how it influenced we have today at our university and of course also uh, DIT and, and CIPA. Uh, including also in the most important parts of Ireland. I guess I have to switch the post code. Or you can see it better. The Euromaster is a suite of modules across that the four universities feed from. Make it a little yeah. bit smaller. So, is that better, guys? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, a couple of reports about uh, my university. So, uh, <coughs> I'm actually a member of the Chair of Construction and Transportation Informatics. Um, actually, I'm heading the, the, the chair. We are uh, between five and ten people. Um, and uh, we have like 15 years of experience in uh, uh, construction IT, but not only construction IT, also transportation IT. So we cover those two, uh, those two disciplines. We're mainly uh, people that did, did their PhDs uh, at uh, actually computer science department. Let's say half half. No? Half was uh, did it uh, in the computer science and informatics, uh, and uh, another half uh, at the faculty of uh, civil engineering here in Marburg and uh, Graz, uh, Austria. Um, for those who don't know, uh, we are the second largest city, okay, here in Slovenia. And uh, um, both of so the Ljubljana and the Maribor both have uh, pretty strong teams of uh, construction IT at their faculties. Uh, there is a team from Gigaturk in, uh, in Ljubljana and the faculty of civil engineering as well. And then we have uh, Another in here at the University of uh, of Maribor. Yeah. And if you ever travel to uh, have the opportunity to travel to Maribor, you see that uh, we have a beautiful downtown. Okay, we are um, just uh, near the river or Drava uh, River, and uh, I would say it's a small city, but it's uh, it's beautiful. Um, it's too bad that uh, we only have one face-to-face, -face, uh, let's say, uh, lecture when we fly over to, uh, to Dublin. It would also be vice versa, so why not to come to Marika? That's the main building of our university. It looks really traditional, old style. Um, and uh, I'm glad to, um, to say, to inform you that the acting rector, so that's the first person <coughs> of, of our university, is actually Daniel Rebol, who was, who was uh, head of our chair a couple of months ago, uh, and he actually was uh, promoted to the rector of the university. So we have a really strong position right now 
uh, Luton University, if I can say so, uh, because the uh, first person at the university is actually a uh, construction IT uh, professor. Uh, so how it all start started? Um, Okay. Uh, so back in 2000, so it's like 11 years uh, back in time, uh, there was a group of uh, construction IT professors uh, who were actually regularly meeting at the W78 conferences uh, around the world, and that was in Iceland. Uh, and there was a workshop uh, actually initiated by the <coughs> Revolve. IDC at uh, uh, Education and Youth, and uh, they kind of known that initiative uh, that resulted in Erasmus uh, uh, exchange program, where, um, where professors uh, actually uh, traveled around, uh, was uh, professor exchange between different universities. And so that uh, was actually the start between 2001 and 2003. So basically, it was just to raise the awareness of construction IT within the, let's call it, related uh, universities uh, in Europe. And uh, the first group consisted of like nine universities. Uh, there were also two from near you, so the University of Glasgow and the University of Southport. Um, and as I said, it was actually initiated by mm -hmm. our University of, uh, of Maribor. And we also have, as you can see, university, universities from Portugal and Sweden and also Germany and uh, Poland. Well, by the way, yeah, uh, I hope that <coughs> if you follow football, you know that uh, our national champion uh, football team uh, so it's football club Maribor it's probably going to be Glasgow Rangers tonight in, uh, in Glasgow uh, in this European European league, I hope so um, it's for those more football enthusiastic listeners uh, so the next uh, the next milestone was then actually um, a close collaboration to the University of Dresden. Uh, that's the university where uh, Professor Carsten Nancy, uh, that's now actually the head of uh, construction IT at the University of Port, coming from. Um, we um, basically did some, some of the projects uh, together mainly from the field of mobile computing at the time. Um, and that was a project for like three years, and it was uh, a good uh, start uh, as well. So through, through the project, we actually uh, experienced, uh, or, or let's call it, practically tested different tools for uh, exchange of statistics. Sorry, Andre, Andre. Yes. Can I disrupt yes. you and ask you to condense it just down to a five minute presentation on the applied knowledge management? Just the, because we're just stuck for time here. People have the appointments and that later on and we want to wrap up now. Uh, sorry about that, but if I could just ask you to condense it, it would be appreciated. I can, I can move forward. Thank you. Okay. I did that because uh, Alan actually suggested me to introduce shortly the Neuromaster. Maybe it's all my this last part. Uh, I, that it's uh, about uh, the concept, so that picture uh, tells you everything about the Neuromaster concept. It's basically a course for So uh, every participating institution actually contributes uh, uh, models into, this into that course for So we don't have a single uniform curriculum because uh, it was actually too restrictive or too, too limited for all the participating institu institutions. So we basically share only, you know, the the, the main object, let's let's say, models. And that every participating institution has their own curriculum, 
that they can actually build around that, around that course code. And this is now functioning pretty well between the University of Cork, Sita, University of Ghana, and the University of Ireland. Okay, let's move on. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, a couple of words because I am also uh, lecturing uh, about uh, applied, uh, applied knowledge management. Uh, I'll give you that uh, short description. Uh, as uh, as Finber pointed out, it's basically the same schedule as Finber pointed out with uh, the keys model. Uh, we meet personally in person uh, one Friday in Dublin, that is the first introduction of the lecture, and we go through the half day uh, uh, lecture uh, course. And uh, I give you the insight and some practical examples of what uh, what's going, what we do every day. Uh, basically, I, I totally agree with all the previous presenters that uh, you know, knowledge management and that awareness uh, about uh, knowledge assets in the company is basically about people and process and. Uh, uh, it's only a little percentage of, of basically the technology. Uh, although we also have to stretch a, a little bit you know, <coughs> our, our brains in, in that form, so we also play with, with some technologies, uh, like it or not. But uh, the first year, so last year, uh, it was maybe a little bit too intensive, or too exhausting for, for my students. So. As Trevor and uh, Aaron probably agree. Uh, but okay, we try to be a little bit more adaptive to that. If you to see. Uh, basically, the, the module will actually introduce the concepts of knowledge management in the construction, construction industry. Uh, we start with actually um, some basic theory about knowledge what is knowledge, what is pyramid of knowledge. So what is data, what is information, what is the knowledge, and at the end, what, uh, the top of that pyramid is a wisdom. Uh, so these are the theoretical foundations. Um, and then we proceed with you know, being familiar with process modeling tools like INF uh, and BBMN. Those two technologies we used uh, for uh, concrete, really, uh, examples uh, where students, as a part of the project work, will have to take practical, uh, practical, uh, actually, situation in a company and try to model it uh, using that it's one of those uh, process modeling tools. And uh, as a step further, we we then try to model that that knowledge as well. So, going further from that process modeling, we try to actually model that knowledge in the so-called ontology uh, and so on. Uh, as a result, students will presume to use in the project work uh, a knowledge uh, management solution for a, a set of practical examples from the environment where they come from. Um, let me just uh, to conclude. Uh, their learning outcomes listed. So the presentation will 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 stay in, into the conference room, so you can check it also later uh, if you want to check that more. Scrum knowledge, and uh, as a as a conclusion, I just want to point out that it's really about people and how to persuade them actually to to use. To use the new technologies learned and how to actually slowly abandon the old one. That's the, actually uh, a very true statement for construction informatics. So it's really about, let's call it, uh, so social aspect of people behaving uh, construction sites and construction companies uh, as a, as a uh, Okay, thanks very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Andre. Uh, but I should have explained at the start, guys. Thank you. This is the actual platform we use when the lectures are taking place. The Adobe Connect Bye. platform. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh,
Yeah, I'll just explain there, Andre. This is the platform we use. So even though the lectures, say a typical lecture or a module involves a half a day attended lecture on DIT, uh, typically on a Friday, um, the lecturers come in if they need it from wherever, uh, present that, and then <coughs> the following four weeks involves two evenings a week, lectures and tutorials online. This is the format it takes, so you can see it works if you're sitting at home attending, or the lectures are recorded as well. That's the beauty of the, the online delivery. It's in your own time. It's, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's, that gives you a good feel for the tools you actually use on the course. And again, you could apply that to your, your typical construction meeting.